Hey you guys, welcome to Focus with GK. That's me. And this channel is all about photography. It is not about brands. I don't care what camera you shoot. I don't care if it's film or digital. It does not matter. This channel is all about the photographic creative person, the business person, the wannabe biz business person. My 25 years, I wanna show you a lot actually. And it goes way beyond just taking the picture. So I appreciate you being here. Join us for the ride. Today's video is all about low light photography. You're gonna like this one. Roll that intro. So look, I get to work with some of the best in New Orleans. I like being able to say that. You know, when I was younger, I used to just look forward to these days of how long is it gonna take me to get there? You know, what's gonna happen? Will I ever get there? Am I gonna grow enough as an artist? What about the business? Can I survive? Can I provide for my family? Fast forward 25 years and here we are. So I decided to create this little YouTube channel and share as much as I can with you. More for the legacy of my children, being able to go back on these videos when they're older, when I'm gone, when I'm still here. Just how awesome that YouTube is this historical reference point of knowledge. Low light photography. Here's the deal. There's a couple of ways that I approach a very low lit room. The first thing I look at is the ambient light that is already existing. And the first thing I think of with my camera is what settings do I want to shoot this image at? Now, there's two ways of doing low light photography. There's long exposure and handheld. There's some factors that goes into both. One, if you're doing uh, long exposure, you need your tripod and you can expose for you know, long time measures, meaning a second, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. And depending on the room that I'm capturing, you know, how much do I need razor sharp in focus? That depends on your f-stop. So a lot of times when I walk into a room, I automatically know I'm gonna shoot it at f22 or f16. And if you want a very clean, clean looking file, meaning not very grainy, in your, in your blacks, in your darks, in your shadows, then that means your lower ISO. So immediately that's ISO 100 and do some test shots and see what happens. Make some adjustments. These images I'm getting ready to show you were all handheld. And the technology, even though I don't care about what brand you're using, the technology does. It does matter. It does matter that your camera will perform in very low light under which settings that you can get away with. I keep pushing these measures with my Fuji X-T3. I keep going to ISOs that everybody swears you can't do because it's mirrorless and it's not full frame. <sighs> no. First of all, if you're one of those people that just look at videos and you place your opinion on that and then you carry your opinion into other ways of conversation, I'm a firm believer that if you aren't actually doing it yourself and you don't have personal usage knowledge, you really don't have a point in the conversation. You need usability. So these images I'm getting ready to show you are handheld. 
I love pushing my equipment as far as it can. Um, if you're one of those people that wants to go, go to a video just to figure out a setting and then go do it, this is, this is the one thing that's wrong about doing that. Your working scenario is not going to be 100% like the person's video you're watching, including mine. Um, your dark room may not be lit anything like my dark room. This is where your knowledge comes into place. So the only thing I care about is what do I want in focus? What is my subject? How much of the room, you know, do I want to actually make sure it's sharp? And if I'm going to do this thing handheld, what ISO do I really need to be at comfortably to handhold a shot? Meaning your shutter speed. I don't like going beneath uh, 125 handheld. I'll, I'll do 60 when I have to, but low light photography doesn't always mean you need to be at your largest eye, like 1.4. So if you're coming to visit New Orleans and you're a business and you're a very large business and you want to put on you know, like a four to 500 guests production, you know, the celebration, this party, the seminar, the film work can absolutely handle it. It's amazing. Um, it's truly huge. So for big name concerts to businesses taking care of their people, I'm just overly, overly impressed. Um, what I am always impressed about is every time I get to work with my friends over at the BBC, uh, BBC Destination Management Company, not the British Broadcast Company. <laughs> so the art direction department with BBC that I work with um, is a young lady named Jeanne, and she's very creative. She has an extremely good eye, but the difference in having an idea and making it happen is knowing how to execute. And that's no different than photography. That bird, I'm gonna shoot it down. Come on, man! That'll shut him up. <laughs> it did. That's the... You son of a... <sighs> Fine, you can be on the vlog, all right? Photography is no different, man. You need to know how to execute your end result in your head before you even squeeze the trigger. I love that. I am always seeing the final image when I stare at my subject matter. I know the end result before I even do anything. So, these are handheld images. And no, they are not at ISO 100. There's something about the Fuji X-T3, the Fuji system in general, the grain, aspect of Fuji I find looks so much more like grain instead of digital noise. That's where equipment does come into play. Um, you know, besides that kind of a factor, how, you're, how your settings are set to get the shot are the same, but the quality of the image makes a very, very big difference on your chip and your sensor on your camera. But again, I don't care about your brand name. This is about how to execute the job. So this is what I'm gonna ask you guys and girls. There's gonna be a lot of questions. Low light photography tends to scare people, I find, you know? Um, Cause it is hard to comprehend something that you don't see every day. You know, you're outside during the day and daylight makes more sense. When the nighttime happens or when you go into a dark room and the, and the lights are way down here, some people kind of freak, like, how can I do this? Which is perfectly fine. Um, so equipment does matter as far as the kind of lens you're using and can your camera photograph at a high ISO and look really, really good, okay? Fuji X-T3, no problem. So I've been hiding a little something from you all. Um, not really hiding, I just, I just haven't really promoted it. I do have a Focused with GK Facebook group page. I do. Just go look up Focused with GK. I'll come up, uh, go ahead and join. The reason why I'm mentioning this now is because even though Instagram DMing is really cool, I'm realizing that's between one person, you know? It's, it's not a group conversation. And a lot of these photographic topics that we're gonna talk about need a lot of input. You're gonna have questions, I know you are. And how awesome is it that we have a place to go to and you can post images and you can get some honest feedback. And I have another video coming up very soon as it has a lot to, to do with 
judging prints and what's good and what's bad. I have a huge, huge problem with what's uh, out there right now. Let's just say that. So what I would like you to do is go to Focus with GK on the Facebook page. I'll put a link below and uh, go ahead and get in there, become a group member and then join the conversation. Um, the conversation here in YouTube is awesome, but we can't post images. So let's make the group page over on Facebook a place where we can have a conversation and I can help you better. And honestly, a lot of your questions, my subscribers are way talented to answer without me actually having to be there. Um, but how cool is it that you've got this instant way of collecting knowledge and applying it now to your work? That didn't exist way back when. So here's my thing. Here's your silver platter. Here's your gift. What are you going to do with it? Execution. You have to execute anything in your life. Make a decision, move forward, fail or succeed. Make another decision and move forward. Execute the job. Thanks for being here, you guys. I truly appreciate you. I look forward to seeing you on the Focus with GK Facebook page. And uh, in the meantime, do leave some comments below. Ask some questions because somebody out there needs a question answered that may be the exact same question you're having. So ask it for them. That way, you become a leader and a mentor to somebody else. <sighs> I have a job today. I have a job tomorrow. I will see you in the next video. I appreciate you being here. Everyone who has hit that subscribe button, I appreciate all 1,400 of you plus. We're working on 1,500. That, that just makes me so very happy. Um, yeah, do what you do. Hit those buttons, the like, the subscribe, you know, whatever. But most importantly, I will see you later. And I do want you to stay focused on your dreams. GK out. <laughs>